Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. This is Alfred. Today we will continue from our project. So here is, let me go ahead and open it. So this is our first name project that we have been building for the past couple series. All right, here we are. As you could see, let me run down what we have done so far. So we have built the UI and we have um, connected the functionality to be able to add names to the list and we can display it to our list box and we have all this UI hooked up which is really cool so we have a lot of functionality so as you type uh, you could see the letter here change so that's a lot of um, functionality already that we have set up so today we will work on adding a delete functionality so we should be able to delete select a, a, a name here and delete it right now it doesn't work that's because we don't have it hooked up yet however we have the add name to the list hooked up so if we want to add um, Tony we can do add name to list and we have it here we can add it a couple times and we have it here uh, we can ha add a, a new name, let's say Toby, and we can add it and we, ca we can, but how, how about if we want to delete this Tony, let's go ahead and get it started. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure that our repo has not changed nobody have um, staged anything in our repo let's go ahead and do a fetch request as you can see we have zero outgoing and zero incoming so that means that we are good and we don't have any we don't have any changes on our end so that tells you that i haven't made any changes since the last time we left off so which is good so now let's go ahead and start get started with adding our delete name here so let me look go ahead and minimize this to give you so we could see more All right, so for the delete, we need to add a name for this delete. Let's go ahead and add it right here. BTN. Now we want to add a click event. So if I hit enter, it will suggest I want to do a new event handler enter and i could go ahead and right click here and go to definition and it will automatically create an event for our delete button so now we are ready to create our delete function so remember all our names are being added to this observable collection list right so we can go ahead and delete an item so if list box dot selected item is not null we want to make sure that we have something selected then we could i uh, think we have the name as first name Postname model dot remove. Then we want to grab the end selected selected item as first name. No, that would be name model. I forgot that I changed our model name to, to names. It should be names, right? It should be name models. Let, let's check that. So right here, this is names model. So we need it to be names model. 
here we go all right so that looks pretty good so that's pretty much it so now let's go ahead and run the application So if we add two alphas here, we can hopefully delete it here. Yep, looks good, it's working. Awesome, and we can delete a couple more here. Delete a couple more here, delete a couple more here, and add Alfred, and add um, Ada, and delete Alfred here. All right, that looks pretty good. So we are having a lot of functions already. Let's go back here. I think I think I want to. All right. So that's pretty much. I I didn't want to do a little bit too much on this video. If I go to the next step, which will be, which will be saving to file, then this video is gonna get way too long. I don't I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and close out the video here. And however, to follow us on the next video on how to save um to file you want to follow, uh, subscribe to this channel so that you can get a notification the next time we post this and um hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day talk to you later bye bye oh wait before i sign out let's go ahead and commit these changes so if i go here i could go ahead and do a fetch request and now I can commit added delete method and commit. All right. All right. That will be all for today. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.